A robot vacuum that looks like a spaceship with remarkable precision, fantastic build quality and smart enough to automatically come back to its station and empty its dust box. At half the price of the big brands. Is there a catch? Let's inspect! Hey, welcome TechFro channel and well, this doesn't look much like anything that you've seen from robot vacuums in the past months. This body here is called the Kneebot Nomo Q11. It's the second Kneebot device that I try and the first one has been remarkable. Now, Kneebot have a few devices in their portfolio, this being, from what I can see, the top-end solution. If you missed the video about the Kneebot Nomo from earlier this year, in a nutshell, I was impressed by the mapping and the navigation precision, by the ability to handle obstacles and, of course, the auto-emptying solution. However, there have been some remarks about the two side brushes and the lack of LED controls. With this model, apparently, the upgraded app, these options are quite easy to access. So, is this any good? And which are the strengths and the weaknesses? Let's get to the bottom of it. Priced at 599 US dollars, it definitely is not among the most accessible robot vacuums out there. But considering the auto emptying station, things start to look a bit more acceptable and of course this is far less than the famous Roborock S7 Plus and a lot more affordable than the high-end models by iRobot or Miele. Sounds like a pretty good balance when it comes to quality at a good price, so let's see if after testing we'll keep appraising the value ratio. Unboxing. There have been hundreds of devices going through my hands and I still keep on being amused by this. Getting to know a product in details is often really helpful. I have to admit that I was expecting a box inside the box, but no. Nibot, get us straight to the point. At the top there's the cable, maybe a minor recommendation, good idea to put the user guide there as well. Here's the Nomo Q11, well wrapped with decent look and feel. Wheels at the bottom seem to be at a good height, so I hope to see carpets wouldn't be a challenge. There's the main brush, we can see one single side brush and the dust box that can be taken out of the rear side. This is indeed a good thing. First of all, easiest way to connect to the station and secondly, I believe access to the rear is an easy task. Something important though, since the charging pins are very close to each other, this means that the robot, if it receives a non-auto-emptying dock at all, won't be easy to service and you have to take this dust box out prior to docking to the station. Which, by the way, looks quite futuristic. This is where the Q11 docks and charges and also when cleaning is over, it's gonna get back to the station and have the dust and the dirt sucked out of it. So it has to be placed at a location that is easy to access for the robot. Setting up is fairly easy, takes a few minutes to download and install the app, go through the initial setup, connect the robot to your home's Wi-Fi and have it cleaning ready. Recommendation is to fully charge the battery prior to the first cleaning, but since we talk about modern batteries, there is no danger of memory effector whatsoever. If you wonder about the specs, here are the most important. 4000 Pascal section power, 5200 mAh battery, LiDAR SLAM navigation technology, AI obstacle avoidance, auto section boost for carpets, 2.5 liter capacity on the self-emptying station, Reliable smartphone app and integration for Alexa and Google Home in terms of home assistance. Strong suction, cool design, innovative laser navigation technology where you actually don't have a spinning laser at the top and instead Nibot have placed three of these lasers on the sides. And a promise for great AI-based precision. Let's see if this fabulous design converts into really effective cleaning. First real performance challenge, the rice test. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Good to mention that the test has been performed with the third grade of suction. And if you go for the maximum power, this, according to Nibot, should be able to lift even steel balls. The cleaning algorithm seems to handle well most of the challenges and not only the rice but also artificially spilled flour and grains are easily removed. So far so good. As for the wet mopping, there's electronic water tank control in a few different grades. It's good. I can't say it's perfect since there is no Y-shaped mode as we have it with some other brands but seems to be handling the cleaning fine.
climbing onto carpets and other obstacles also works well as long as they're no higher than 2 cm. The carpets at home are usually among the most challenging examples and if they're handled well, then we can be certain the robot is going to do fine with most other types of carpets. It's great to see that in terms of navigation, Nibot managed to keep the fantastic algorithm from their first Nomo model, and even if suddenly a lot of obstacles appear on its way to the station, this wouldn't confuse the robot too much. For the cleaning, you can count on multiple options. You can select just an area to be cleaned, or you can define no-go zones, for instance places with quite many cables or just areas where you just throw your socks away. There is spot cleaning, edge cleaning, possibility to tune the section power, the smartphone app turns out to be quite capable about that. It can also save multiple maps, so if you live in a house with multiple floors, this can come handy. Although, another positive thing, generating a new map of a 40 square meter room takes around just 5 minutes, and that's not that much anyways. The great news is that the whole device is almost maintenance-free. Nibot promised that the dust box is gonna be good for at least a few weeks, so even if you're absent from home, you can run cleaning from time to time and still have it in a very effective way. Testing the section process, however, shows that most of the rice grains actually remain intact inside the box. Such a big disappointment! If I may add up to the pile with drawbacks, there only are two paper bags included. I wish there were a little more than that. There is no way to disable the carpet boost mode from the app, at least not yet, it's not critical. Overall, this is one of the best robot vacuums I've ever tested and subjectively, fantastic build quality and feeling which is kind of rare to get these days. Flagship grade hardware with not quite flagship grade looking app and the disappointing station performance when it comes to sucking debris. But certainly, this is an amazing value pack. Still, if you have a Roborock S5 or newer, or something similar with lighter navigation and you don't desperately need auto-emptying dock, better hold or invest your money somewhere else. If you have an older, much less powerful and capable robot vacuum, then this would be a lot, really a lot better. If you plan this to be your first one, that's gonna be like you're joining the Premier League right away. Hopefully all of this makes good sense and of course would like to hear about your experience with robot vacuums in general or with the Nibot Nomo Q11 in particular. More details and link to the product itself with the best possible deal, as usual, are to be found in the video description. Stay safe, enjoy life, make sure to spend your money wisely and focus on gadgets that you actually need. And I, Michael, gonna be back with another review in the coming days. Bye!